So here goes one of those little modules. Um, actually, that guy right there. And I've just got a little electric and an amp board on there. And these things are real sensitive. Um, so this, this so I guess it's like a little spy transmitter type circuit, right? So it, I think it runs about 700 megahertz. So between four and 900. And uh, standard, it just comes factory uh, 700 megahertz. So test setup, you know, this thing needed about 100 millivolts input signal, uh, peak to peak. And then it sounded great. You know, I could play various tones and they came through uh, really good. But they all need really clean supplies, or at least the uh, transmitter does. Uh, the way it was tuned before, this thing was like way too sensitive. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be able to do anything like that. You know, the whole idea is to just kind of hear... I don't, I don't want to be able to hear crystal clear talking, you know, from a distance. I just want to hear what the uh, throttle's doing and the steering and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this will work out to where if I was to play with that gain a little bit more, then this thing's going to just come through way too well. Um, you know, so it'll work great as a microphone, basically. So, you know, hold it from far away and you can hear pretty much anything going on in the room. But sitting it on the car with all the noise that's going to go on, it's just going to overpower it. So really have to back it down. All right, here's the setup. So I've got the transmitter just kind of jammed down here. Haven't really tried to finalize a real, you know, good look on it yet because I don't know how well it's going to work. But got the battery just kind of chilling up here. And I've got the aux channel switch just kind of down here somewhere. So it's all going in. Aux channel output power is feeding the relay. Relay shuts on when I uh, you know, hit a button on my controller. And then it powers the transmitter off this battery. The battery should last a long time. Uh, I'm just going to do it like this where, you know, every now and then I'll just, you know, take it out, recharge it, throw another one in, whatever. Got the receiver on. On the other side of the room so i'm gonna cut the car on cut the transmitter on all right so that's on cars on and you know you don't hear anything because i don't have the relay on so when i hit this button which is just i got set to channel six right now relay cuts on microphone is just kind of chilling over here on the back side so i don't know if you can hear over there it's quite it's quite sensitive. It's a little bit too sensitive. So with that kind of sensitivity, you know, if someone was talking on a, you know, in the room or something, it's just sitting here, then yeah, you would be able to hear it uh, through the other end. So the problem there is when I cut this fan on, obviously going to hear the fan. I actually hear like a three millisecond delay, like they say, while I'm talking, because I can hear my voice through that speaker over there. La da 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 da. So the real loud volume of the throttle and the steering and maybe even the movement of the servos it might be too much for it. So I might have to like dampen that some kind of way. All right, so I got the car out in the living room, got everything going, got the goggles on, got the, uh, the 5.8 transmitter, 2.4 transmitter, and the audio transmitter. So this guy's on, drawing like very low standby power. And then, um, you know, Maybe you can kind of hear it outside the door there. Then when I cut the uh, audio on with this channel, hear it come through that speaker there. So you can mainly hear the sound of the fan. Hear the sound of, you know, me moving stuff around. When I shut it off, you know, you can't really hear it. So that's how that's working. Seems to work out pretty good. Um, so again, problem there is, you know, interference with another control system like Crossfire, which will use like 900 megahertz. So this was 433, something around that range. I think it would be all right, uh, but I'll have to see how that works. So I'm also testing out different antennas on the transmitter, on the video transmitter. So to do like an overall range test, but this way I can just sort of cut the audio transmitter on and off whenever I want to uh, see if that makes any difference. So yeah, hopefully if that works for long range, that'll be pretty cool because it'll be like having audio just like I do with my analog stuff and it'll really help me when I'm driving. Just won't really have that audio in the recording. 
All right, so I'm using these guys right here, AliExpress. See, it says default frequency 750, so it says it's uh, 500 and 980. So I'm not really sure how you can quite change that, but anyway, it's pretty much how how they come. Um, you know, each one you can power from probably three to five volts, no problem. And you got an input that I'm using, a little electric plus amp board. And uh, I really had to fine tune the gain there, to make that work all right. And I'm just coming out with a, you know, eight ohm speaker. Pretty basic, seems to work out all right. Again, haven't fully tested the range, but yeah, I don't know, we'll see. So long as it works fairly short range, I think that'll be all right. Then if it just turns into just straight crap, then I can, uh, you know, cut it off on the transmitter. So that's pretty cool.